Hi, welcome to Tech Tuesday, or it should be called Microtech Tech Tuesday because I'm exploring Microtech devices. If you saw last week's video, you saw me uh, pointing at the ceiling and telling you that the best place to install a Wi Fi router is on the ceiling. I had a comment on last week's video, and it was uh, that um, don't you mean access point, not router? Okay, it was well, I think you mean access point, not router. It was it was said very politely, very supportively. I answered that comment and I said, well, I don't know. I mean, this might actually be a router. It runs router OS from Microtik, and Microtik hardware is pretty fancy, so people tell me. So apparently, you can kind of get it to do whatever you want. It could make coffee for you if you like. So I thought, rather than install it on the ceiling today, I'll tinker some more with it and find out if it really can do some routing. And the answer is, it can. <sighs> Let me prove it to you. So by default, it's set up in access point mode. So yes, I probably should say, best place to install an access point is on the ceiling. But if you turn it into router mode, well, it'll route and you can connect with your Wi-Fi devices, and actually you can even connect with a wired device. It's got two Ethernet ports on it. Let me show you the back. Uh, you see this white cable? So the white cable is coming straight from my cable modem, and the modem is running in bridge mode. It's not acting as a router. I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Uh, the yellow cable, that's plugged into the computer that I'm showing you this on here right now. So let's have a look on the computer and see what IP address it has. Yes, it did dynamically get an IP address. So let's just have a look here. IP config. It has 192.168.88.254. My computer. The default gateway, 192.168.88.1. That means this is the default gateway for my computer. Let's go and have a look in a browser, 192.168.88.1. There it is. This user interface might look somewhat familiar. I'm not going to show you my uh, public IP address, but down in the section here, local network, you can see I specified the default IP, 192.168.881. I specified a DHCP server range. There it is. And it's routing. Uh, just to show that it actually works, we bring up a speed test here. Let's do a little bit of a speed test. Make sure that you really believe me that it works. I have internet connectivity. Yep. There we go. I know I'm sounding a little bit pedantic and a bit defensive on last week's video. And it was a good point. This would be called an access point. And that's actually how I'm going to have it set up in my home network. But it was very interesting to find out and pretty cool to know that this actually can do some routing. So, you might have a scenario where you think, hmm, I'll just buy one of these because I've got lots of Wi-Fi devices at home or a couple of Wi-Fi devices. Well, you could turn your ISP provided modem into bridge mode, connect straight into this bit of hardware and have it do the routing and take care of also all your wireless devices. If you really wanted to, yes, you could uh, run another cable to another computer. Or technically, of course, you could probably put that to a switch as well and break it out to a bunch of wired computers. I'm not gonna suggest this be a router, but it can do it. And the speeds, pretty good. Well, that's it. If you wanna see me tinker some more with Microtik in the future, I'll probably get this installed next week. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you again next time for another Microtik Tech Tuesday. Try saying that 10 times fast. Microtech Tech Tuesday, Microtech Tech Tuesday, Microtech. Bye.